Good morning everyone. Hi, my name is Jenny and I'm a first year medical resident. So I've been up since 4 in the morning um, and that's because I'm still pumping at this time. I think I'm only pumping about one to twice a day now, um, slowly weaning off. But yeah, I'm still doing that. Um, the reason why I'm up so early is because I have to get to the hospital by 5 a.m. Uh, this week I'm going to take you guys, or today, I'm going to take you guys on inpatient medicine and that's working in the hospital. So let's go. Hey guys, so it is currently 5 a.m. and what we do in the morning is we come here and we learn about all our patients. <clears throat> Whoa. So in order to be a good doctor, you have to know all about your patients and if you guys know, most things in the hospital happen before 12 in the afternoon. So I come in, read about all my patients, order labs if they haven't been done and just check up on things, facilitate things to, you know, move. Um, today is my short call day, so I'm only on from 5 a.m. till 4. If I finish my notes at 4, then I actually get to leave, but most of the time I don't. Most of the time I end up leaving by 5. Long call is until 7. All right, so this is the night team, and... As I said, we need to know our patients for good patient care, so they tell us everything that happened on at night, and then we take over in the morning. Bye. Hello. <laughs> oh yeah, you guys might know my co-resident. She's on Instagram, Married in Medicine. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Her husband also works here. <laughs> so it is seven o'clock now. Just saw my eight patients, checked up on them, see how they did overnight, um, basically, and now we're going to morning report. So it is currently 10.30, we did table rounds in the morning, which is going over the patient list, but we didn't finish, so now we're back doing more rounds. There's some, I'm getting a pimple. But yeah, so we're just gonna talk over the patient list and talk about each problem that, why the patient is here and then come up with a plan, so yeah. So it's almost four o'clock, finished all my notes. So now I am hopefully just going to go home. Yeah, you guys get to see my home life. Hello. Hi. <laughs> you just love to dance, huh? He's silly. I love you. Oh. Hi, baby. You want to be Carrie? Are you hungry? For dinner, we or Stan is making this chicken curry with bamboo shoots. We got it from this book, Asian Kitchen. It's actually pretty good so far. Mm, so exciting! <laughs> you excited? 
<laughs> his face is just. So you add water to it or what? Mum? Yes, I would never. Okay. You didn't put anything in your mouth, honey. <laughs> uh, so close, come on. What do you have in there? What do you have in there, baby? Hello? Oh yeah, collecting all your things. So I am currently here for my haircut. I'm almost late, so I'll check back in with you guys after the haircut. All right, guys, look how short it is. <laughs> Super short, um, but I wanted to donate as much as I can. So yeah, we'll see how this goes. It feels really light. Hey guys, so this is what my hair looks like. Um, I'm gonna sit down here. So I just wanted, I actually posted on Instagram, if you guys haven't seen it already. Um, see, it's so crazy how long my hair was. I actually cut off 20 inches anyways so I wanted to tell you guys the story of why I decided just to chop off my hair um, I've been needing a trim for a long time but just last week my aunt called me and she asked me if I've cut my hair long or if I've cut it yet and I told her that it's still long and she said you know when you cut it short can you donate it to um, your cousin she was diagnosed with alopecia and totalis so that means that she lost all her hair and it happened rather quickly she had to shave her head and she's younger so she has to go to school and I just personally feel for her because I did not I don't know I was not the popular kid in school I didn't <laughs> You know, like I was really shy and nervous and I feel like kids are just mean sometimes. And I hid behind my hair a lot. Like I felt comfortable with long hair. And so for her to have to shave her head or not have hair at all, um, it must be really saddening for her and she probably has a lot of anxiety for it. Yeah, so I just decided I'm gonna cut my hair off as much as I can and donate it to her and my aunt said she's gonna get a wig made. I really hope that her hair can start growing back. But yeah, so I know a lot of you guys said I shouldn't cut my hair, my husband loves long hair, but this is it now and I think it'll look really cute if I actually did my makeup and stuff, but I like it. It's so light, I'm just worried that I can't do my usual routine of just waking up, rolling out of bed, and walking to work because I usually put my hair in a bun and it just dries wet like that. But so, we'll see. Yeah. Thank you guys for watching. Hi everyone. So I'm back at work now and I just wanted to come on here to tell you how grateful and thankful I am for all of you who sent me messages, um, for telling me how much you liked my haircut and how great it looks. Um, I think growing up I've always been insecure about the way I looked, um, especially in middle school and high school. I was always that ugly duckling that was with this really pretty girlfriend, or my girlfriends were always pretty, and so the guys would always come up to me and be like, hey, so can you hook me up with your friend? <laughs> and I got a page. I think you guys help me feel really confident in myself and I think the older I get the more I just care less about what people think especially now that being a mom I'm not used to this body that I'm in um, I'm like everything is different <laughs> than before I was pregnant but I'm slowly getting used to that and I want to tell you guys that it's okay to feel uncomfortable because a lot of people feel that way and you're probably judging yourself more than how other people are judging you
So thank you so much. I love you guys and I'll see you in the next one.